good Thursday evening. I hope you're having a wonderful ending to this tremendous, beautiful day. Let me ask you this question. Do you have an Uncle John in your life? Or, not going to discriminate, do you have an Auntie Johnetta or Johnice? David had an uncle named Jonathan. No, it was not his best friend, Saul's son. It had to be Jesse's brother or his mom's brother or maybe the grandparents' brother. But it says that there was an uncle Jonathan in verse 32 of First Chronicles 27. After there was an accounting of the people who were to oversee David's wealth, as far as who would take care of his vineyards and his cattle, his flock, his olive trees, on and on and on. It said, and Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a wise man. Oh, for such a time as this, do we need some wise people at the table in our lives surrounding our loved ones giving them good godly advice as far as the way to go. Uh, after being on the picket line today, I was like, Lord, you're going to have to motivate me. And he had me to make some new picket signs from old paintings that I made. One says, teachers, we have no time to waste. Wisdom, you know I'm going to break out with a word Yes, I am. If I'm going to be standing out in the streets in the corner. Wisdom is the principal thing. And in all thy getting, get understanding. Yes, Proverbs 4, 7. I, I didn't reference the scripture, but we need our kids to be in place so that they can get understanding of concepts. But we slip in the wisdom of God in there. Amen. And... Another sign, which was the first one I made, like I said, I found these paintings from before, and it's all about wisdom. Happy fall. Now let's not fail our students, for they are the well-abled, brilliant ones if we prepare them in wisdom. And because today is October 24th, we go to that very popular chapter 24 Proverbs. And we know in verse three, it talks about how after our young people graduate and they go on to trades or to maybe the armed services, or maybe they go to college, higher ed, what have you, we don't, they don't have to do that crazy Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman and all that finagling. No, God will grace them with the path to go. And after they are on their own, whether they're in an apartment or a condo or a house, they want to make sure that wisdom is the foundation. In verse three, it says, with wisdom and through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. It is firm. They won't have to get into so much debt and try to impress people and try to finagle and finesse. No. And the promise is in verse four. And knowledge, the knowledge, the wisdom, shall enable their chambers, their rooms, their kitchen, their bedroom, their living room to be filled with all pleasant and precious gifts. That's the bling right there. Right? When we put God first, he will bless us. And later on in verse 14, it says, so shall thy knowledge of wisdom, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward. What are they talking about? They're talking about the young person, my son, my daughter, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. And we know in Psalms 19, 10, it talks about how wisdom is to be more desired than gold and also the honey and the honeycomb. The wisdom of God is sweet. It will satisfy the soul. We need some whoo, Uncle John's in our life. We need some TT John nieces. But guess what? We're to be those people in their lives and our loved ones. Let's be the one to carry the wisdom of God wherever we go so that we can make an impact. 
because there's some foolishness going on and we don't know how long the strike is going to go, but there still could be informal learning at your table, on the sidewalk, wherever, out in the stores. Let's disseminate the truths and God's wisdom and knowledge wherever we go. Okay. Hope you have a wonderful evening in the Lord. Get good rest and know that he is the sweetest and know that he is going to give us the riches of his glory and enjoy the dwelling because wisdom has built it. Good night.